How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today we are talking pork loin. Now here I have a half of a pork loin and I really like cooking pork loins because number one, it's a quick, easy cook. You can do it on a weeknight for a meal. And also you can kind of go any way you want with it. You can go savory, you can go sweet, you can go barbecue, you can go herbaceous, whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. The problem that a lot of people have is overcooking them and they're dry. And for me, they're just not very good if they're dry. That mouthfeel isn't there, it's kind of crumbly. Just not my thing. So today I'm gonna to show you how to cook a pork loin absolutely perfect so it's juicy, it's tender, and you're gonna love it, your family's gonna love it. So let's jump in and prep up this pork loin. It's very simple. All right, so here's our pork loin and you can see there's not much to do here. There's a little bit of fat. I'm leaving this on to protect the bottom of this. There's no need to really take it off. Now this piece right here, kind of a straggler, I'm just gonna take that off. But that's really all I'm gonna do to it. If you wanted to, you could take this little chain piece off here, but I'm really not too worried about it. I think it'll be just fine. Actually, it's kinda sticking out here like that. Yeah, not much meat in there. I think, actually, I think we will take that off. So all I'm gonna do is just come in here and just follow that down. And you can see, I mean, there is pretty much just fat there. So little meat, a lot of fat. And that is looking pretty nice to me. Just take this little chunk off on the back side here. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Nice clean piece of pork here. Now we're gonna start on the back side. And like I said, you can go sweet with this. You can go savory. Today we're doing a little bit of both. Haven't decided if I'm gonna sauce it yet. That's a game time decision. But the seasonings that we're gonna be using today are the Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub is our base. You guys know this is my favorite base layer in the history of the world. It is so fantastic. Beef pork, chicken, whatever, this is the go-to for it. Nice all-purpose rub. And then we're also gonna be using my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle as some color, as a nice little sweet heat to it. Not too hot, just enough to let your tongue know that it's there, but this is a great combination. The Tailgater's my rub. It's the best combination in barbecue, I'm just gonna say it. So we're gonna come in and get this seasoned up with the Tailgater's. All right, you can see here we have some nice big pepper flakes on there. I'm just gonna let this sweat in for a couple minutes, kind of create that own binder, and then we're gonna come in with my rub here. So see in about two, three minutes, it'll start sweating and stick real nice. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. I can feel it's nice and tacky. Now we're gonna come in with my honey chipotle. And this is just gonna be a medium coating here. About like that. Get that pressed in and we'll finish seasoning it up. All right guys, and just like that, we have a beautiful color from the Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub and my Ash Kick and Barbecue Honey Chipotle. Everything is looking good. Now, like I said, the biggest thing when it comes to cooking pork loins is not overcooking them. So you really wanna be keeping an eye on this, whether it's with an instant read thermometer, checking it every 20 minutes or so, and as it starts getting close, really keeping an eye on it, or a leave-in probe, which is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using the one on the Lone Star Girls Pellet Grill, and I'm looking for dead center right here to get that reading. You might have a little bit of stuff overcooked on each side here at the ends, but that center is gonna be absolutely perfect, which is really nice because then you can cater to your group. If you have people that like stuff a little bit more well done, you can give them that that perfect medium rare, I guess, on a pork, but still safe to eat. You're looking at 145 finish temp. So I like to actually pull it at 140 dead center, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So I'll meet you outside at the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill, 300 degrees, run until it's about 140 degrees. At that point, we'll decide whether we're gonna sauce it or what we're gonna do with it, but this is gonna be a really good cook. So we'll meet you outside at the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill right now. All right, so I have the Lone Star Grills Pellet Grill coming up to temperature. We're gonna have it set at 300 degrees. It's coming up right now at 172. Just gonna get a little preliminary smoke on it while it comes up. 
you can see I have the thermometer in. We're just gonna let this thing go until it hits about 135, 140, come out, check it, decide if we wanna sauce it. I'll set a timer, let you know how long it's been, but yeah, this thing already looks so good and I know it's gonna be fantastic. I've cooked these many, many times. I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. So we'll see you when this thing is about done and I'll let you know how long it takes. Like I said, pretty quick cook today. So we'll see you then. All right, so it has been one hour and 25 minutes and we are sitting at 132 degrees on this pork loin and you can see it is looking really nice. I made the decision we're gonna sauce this up today and we're gonna be using Blue's Hog Raspberry Chipotle sauce because it is so good on pork. So I'm just gonna hit that like that. Now I'm putting this on at 130, 132 degrees because I want it to kind of caramelize on. I don't want it to be super wet, but you gotta find that sweet spot of getting this done and having a nice caramelization and then not burning this sauce. And I apologize if you're picking up the wind, it is brutal out today. It's about negative six right now, but we are cooking because the show must go on. Hopefully the dead cat on my mic is doing its job. But just look at how beautiful that looks when you get a nice layer of sauce on there. And I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit more. And I'm almost out, so I'm gonna have to run to my local ace and pick up some more. But check this out. This is gonna be fantastic. It's not gonna be super wet. It's just gonna be a nice flavor and this goes really well with my honey chipotle, with the raspberry chipotle. So now I'm gonna get this closed up, let it go, let this sauce caramelize up, let it finish. I'll bring you back out when it's time to get this off, show you how it's looking. And we'll probably see you in about 15 minutes. All right, so one hour and 40 minutes. This is what we got. That sauce is nice and caramelized. This is looking fantastic. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna bring this inside, let it rest on the counter for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna loosely cover it with foil just to keep that heat in there, but we're sitting at 142 degrees, so the carryover should be just perfect. This is gonna be juicy, I already know it, so I'm gonna get this inside, let it rest, we'll slice it up, we'll do a taste test, we'll see you in the house. All right, so here is our pork loin, you can see, nice and juicy from that rest, looks amazing. Let's slice this up and see how we did. So I'm just gonna go straight down the middle here and get a nice cross section. Yeah, that looks, Beautiful, nice and juicy in there. So much, so much moisture in there. I hope you can pick that up on the camera, but that looks phenomenal. So let's slice a few slices of this. Check out the moisture in that. I mean, look at the, look at the moisture running down the blade. That is perfectly cooked pork loin. Dry pork loin is a thing of the past. This is beautiful. Just gonna get this all sliced up here. Even these end pieces, so much moisture and juice in there. Beautiful. Get this other side sliced up. There we go, check that out. That is just a half of a pork loin. But yeah, so beautiful, so much moisture. You can feed a ton of people with just half of one of these. I mean, right there, this is gonna be our taste tester. Just beautiful, center cut. I'm gonna set this off to the side, bring you out, we're gonna do a little taste test. All right, so here we go. Roll this around in the juice. So tender, so juicy, look at it just dripping. I mean, that is beautiful, let's do this. I'm telling you right now, pork loin is very underrated. I think it's because a lot of people tend to overcook it and they don't like it. But if you cook it proper and it's nice and juicy and nice and tender, I mean, this is effortless to chew. This is what you want. That Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub just provides that perfect savory note to it. You get a nice sweet heat from my Ash Kickin' Barbecue Honey Chipotle. And then that raspberry chipotle sauce is the icing on the cake. Everything's just coming together. It's just, it's just a beautiful flavor combination. Highly recommend it. Guys, if you're looking for a cheap way to feed a lot of people and still throw down on the smoker, pork loin is it. Like I said, this is a half pork loin. I think it was like nine bucks. So, and I could easily feed probably six people off of this. 
no problem. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.